More than 20 years ago, Toyota surprised everyone with the launch of a car that signaled an environmentally conscious future. However, two decades later, the landscape has changed. The automaker led global sales with 10 and a half million vehicles in 2021, the highest figure among vehicle producers worldwide. Nevertheless, this company, present in about 170 nations, is now the target of criticism for its moderate pace in reducing carbon emissions. Observers accuse it of resisting initiatives to combat climate change. Still, they argue that standardized solutions are inadequate as they move towards new horizons. They believe that a variety of products should respond to diverse consumer demands, adapting to their distinct modes of transportation. Two decades have passed, and what was once innovative and sustainable no longer seems the same to us. Heavyweight competitors such as General Motors and Volkswagen have made significant commitments to electric vehicles, presenting various models to the market. In contrast, Toyota has only one electric model in its lineup, with 232 sold in the United States and approximately 1,600 globally. Company leaders have stated that enthusiasm for electric vehicles is exaggerated compared to the current reality. Last December, Toyota announced a $35 billion investment in electric vehicles. In parallel, it plans similar investments in hybrids and hydrogen vehicles. We are committed to carbon neutrality by 2050, pursuing this goal with a diverse range of products. So, the question remains, is Toyota lagging behind its competitors, or is the caution it demonstrates prudent? Chapter 1 The New Era or Alternative Route In 1997, the Toyota automotive brand introduced the RAV4 EV to the market. This vehicle, an electric variant of the acclaimed RAV4 crossover, marked a period when electric vehicles were a novelty and Tesla had not yet emerged. Although other electric vehicles were launched later, mass production was still not a reality. The relationship between Toyota and Tesla began in 2010, with Toyota acquiring a stake in the advanced technology company. A fruitful collaboration between them led to the release of a new generation of the RAV4 EV two years later, in 2012. However, with the traditional automotive industry increasingly leaning towards electric vehicles, Toyota chose a different path in 2017, divesting its investments in Tesla. Toyota has a cautious philosophy, preferring to avoid hasty investments that could result in significant financial losses. The cautious approach is part of the Japanese corporate culture, common among manufacturers like Toyota. They take the time for thorough analysis before adopting new technologies, ensuring that these innovations align with the company's goals. Additionally, Toyota, like Ford, belongs to a select group of manufacturers still under family control, which tends to favor more conservative methods. Toyota acknowledges the potential of electric vehicles but highlights the present challenges, such as the need for many batteries to ensure long distances and the considerable time required to charge them. Furthermore, battery durability is still a concern, as is their energy density, which needs improvement for electric vehicles to compete directly with fossil fuel-powered ones. The Japanese company markets vehicles globally, understanding that each market has distinct demands and limitations. The Toyota and Lexus brands together offer more than 130 models, with Lexus present in about 90 countries and Toyota in 170. Until October 2022, nearly 7 million of the almost 8 million cars sold by Toyota went to customers outside Japan. Of these sales, over 184,000 vehicles went to Africa, 400,000 to the Middle East, and approximately 2 million to Asian nations excluding Japan. In many of these regions, the infrastructure for electric vehicles is still not fully developed. It is essential to note that the majority of the world's population without access to electricity is concentrated in Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia, with significant portions also in the ASEAN region, China, Latin America, and the Middle East. Toyota believes that consumers will dictate the ideal type of propulsion and the right time to adopt it, although the journey may present obstacles. Challenges such as inadequate infrastructure and high battery costs are factors to be considered. The company also invests in hydrogen-powered vehicles, which emit no polluting gases and whose byproduct of the chemical reaction is water. Despite criticism from battery enthusiasts, 
Toyota maintains its position, evident in the development of a truck in partnership with Kenworth and the global marketing of 20,000 units of the Mirai. Toyota segments its technologies into two main categories, zero-emission vehicles such as hydrogen and electric vehicles and those that reduce carbon emissions, such as hybrids. Hybrids, in particular, maintain the traditional driving experience, enhancing it with superior fuel efficiency. With the launch of the Prius in 1997, the company began popularizing hybrids. To date, 20 million hybrid cars have been sold worldwide, of which 5,400,000 are in the United States. Currently, a quarter of Toyota's sales in the United States consist of hybrid vehicles, ranging from the Corolla to the RAV4. Models like Sienna and Sequoia are exclusively offered in hybrid versions, and the recent Tundra has also joined this lineup. Toyota projects that, with the advancement of batteries, hybrid vehicles are likely to further improve, approaching the point where they will outperform their traditional counterparts. Chapter 2 What to Believe What is the vision for the future? In essence, Toyota's vision contends that electric vehicles are expensive. It argues that batteries lack the capacity for adequate energy storage, take excessive time to recharge, and lack widespread charging infrastructure. However, the global landscape has evolved. Even though Toyota is partially correct from an engineering perspective, parallel advancements have occurred. This includes the expansion of production capacity and minerals, along with innovations in lithium-ion batteries. Toyota's competitor, the Volkswagen Group, projected in 2021 that electric vehicles would equal the cost of gasoline-powered ones by 2025 on a global scale. In that year, the market share of electric vehicles was around 5%. Notably, in some places, this rate was higher, surpassing projections. Forecasts suggest that this market share should be between 5 and 10%, possibly reaching 6 or 7%. In China and Europe, the demand for electric vehicles has surged, with a particularly notable increase in Germany. There is also an emerging business model for such vehicles. The electrification and digitization of automobiles have allowed them to be seen as advanced technological devices. Governments in regions such as China, the European Union, and the United States encourage this shift by offering substantial incentives for manufacturers and consumers. Even though, from an engineering standpoint, it may not be ideal, economically, it makes sense, driven by these financial benefits. In the state of California, a crucial U.S. market for Toyota, the company historically led in sales. However, data shows that in the first half of 2020, Toyota's market share declined compared to 2021. In contrast, Tesla saw its market share jump from less than 5% to almost 11%. Considering all electrified vehicles, including hybrids and pure electric, they comprised nearly 30% of sales by November 2022 in California. Pure electric vehicles alone represented about 15%, tripling the national average around 5%. Thus, Tesla is gaining ground, and Toyota needs to respond, starting with the Lexus brand and extending to the main brand. Catherine Garcia, an activist with the Sierra Club in California, notes that Toyota has been inconsistent in production and innovation. The Sierra Club criticizes Toyota's stance against climate legislation. Influence Map, a British group, identifies Toyota as one of the most active companies against climate policies in 2021, placing it on par with Chevron and Exxon. Greenpeace, in turn, ranks Toyota at the bottom in terms of decarbonization efforts. In response, Toyota claims a commitment to an electric future. The company plans to invest $35 billion from 2021 to 2030 in battery electric vehicles. While this transition takes place, the company also expands the hybrid offerings to optimize carbon reduction. This recent financial commitment includes the development of 30 new electric models by 2030. This number represents less than a quarter of its over 130 current models. Investments cover battery technology and a $3.8 billion battery plant in North Carolina. In April 2022, Toyota unveiled the BZ4X, its only electric model until then, arriving nearly a decade after Tesla's Model S and five years after the Model 3. 
It seems that Toyota has finally recognized the need to focus more on the fully electric vehicle segment. Chapter 3 The company is committing to ambitious goals. However, there are skeptics about Toyota's ability to achieve these objectives. Manufacturing a quality electric vehicle is complex. It is not an immediate or intuitive process. With its colossal size and an impressive research and development budget, Toyota has abundant resources. Its technical competence and ability to innovate are unquestionable. However, innovation and research are only aspects of the process. Production and logistics are also included. Agreements are made with partners who supply batteries. Additionally, the company's workforce is a key element. Services at dealerships are equally necessary. Progress depends on the starting point. The executive vice president in North America, Jack Hollis, revealed in an interview in August 2022 that there is a disconnect. The actual consumer interest in electric vehicles does not echo the enthusiasm of the discourse. Even after 25 years, hybrids represent only about 6% of the new vehicle market. For fully electric vehicles, this number drops by half. Recently, a federal law allocated $7,500,000,000 for the installation of half a million charging points. However, the consulting firm McKinsey and Company pointed out that this is not enough. The government's projection is to achieve 50% electric vehicles by 2030. According to McKinsey, 1,200,000 public chargers and 28 million private chargers would be needed. The country would have to multiply the existing number by 20 by April 2022. If the popularity of electric vehicles were measured by the media, it would seem that society has already massively transitioned to them. But the reality shows that they are still a specific market segment. Hybrids, plug-in hybrids, and internal combustion engine vehicles powered by gasoline will remain for many years. The forecast is that in a decade, half of the new vehicles will still be gasoline-powered. On a global scale, this seems even more certain. Countries like Nigeria, Iran, and Indonesia are unlikely to see 50% of vehicles being electric. These are relevant markets. Meanwhile, analysts claim that Toyota is committed to responding to criticisms. They say that it is not doing enough against carbon pollution or in favor of eco-friendly products. My prediction is that the company will insist that its hybrids play an important role. They will argue that they contribute significantly to reducing fuel consumption, more than efforts focused solely on electric vehicles. This argument will be emphasized by them in the next decade. Tell me what you think. Now, if you think that's the end, not focusing on fleet electrification doesn't mean the automaker is asleep. Toyota has been working on alternative engines, new fuels, and other options that justify the company's actions. In fact, click on the video that is playing on your screen right now and discover what this novelty is, what is coming, and how the electric car industry might be numbered. So, if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel, turning on notifications because I post new videos every day. See you in the next one.